It's interesting how when you're a great player, you get so much blame. Uh, Chris Paul wasn't the reason they hadn't got to the conference finals. Uh, but that's just the way it is. It's a double standard when you're a great player. He's been a great player for a long time. Uh, I'm really, I mean, we knew this was going to happen when the season started in October. I'm really looking forward. I hope it's a great series. I hope it's a long series. Uh, they're both terrific teams, terrific organizations. Uh, even though the Rockets screwed me out of $3 million. <laughs> <He's laughs> they never that paid that me again. back. But what, they haven't paid me back yet. Okay. For what? It's uh, only $3 million, man. For what? Me, this, this, that's that's nothing. That's you know, Do you really what? need the money? Uh, you can never have enough money, you brother. Can, yeah, hey, hey, Come on, hey, I said see, $3 I million. Joking. I didn't say $300. You sound serious. <laughs> <laughs> I was <laughs> joking, Casey. You uh, but uh, <laughs> let me tell you something. It's, uh, I'm, just, I'm looking forward to it. We know those were the teams that were going to be here. I'm glad we got it. Uh, the TNT going to be at every single game. Uh, two great cities, two great fan bases. Uh, so it's going to be fun. For me, you know, at the beginning of this season, when the trade comes for Chris Paul, the question was, like, he's not really a three-point shooter. He's never been that in his career. So you say, well, how effective can he be with what they already do? Eight out of and, ten tonight. And then Exactly. But then, <laughs> as the season and, – and, and honestly, at the beginning of the season, I didn't think he was being – making a difference. And then as the season progressed, I think D'Antoni is a great offensive mind and he's got him into the the one-on-one situations that he's accustomed to being in. And then he doesn't have to worry about just waiting and catching and shooting. So when he does, it's a bonus. But again, the difference is when you play the Golden State Warriors, Draymond Green and, and, and Kevin Durant, they are really good defenders when their man sets the pick. When you come off as a guard, they're long enough, they're quick enough, they're strong enough to guard you all the way from a three-point line to the rim. And so that the will be season. a different scenario that they they really haven't seen in the playoffs, and, and that's going to be interesting. And during the regular season, Houston raised their level of play and was able to beat Golden State twice. Now, we all know playoffs is a different animal, so the question is, can they, can they do it again? Uh, they've been waiting for this matchup. The whole world's been waiting for this matchup going to be very exciting. I think it will probably go six, maybe even seven games if Houston plays with the same intensity that they play with during a regular season. Give a lot of credit, the intensity and the culture. Quinn Snyder did a fantastic job yes. with this team. And look, without Rubio, clearly we didn't see the team that was on the floor, but it's hard not to focus on Donovan Mitchell, one of the best two-week stretches for a rookie in a postseason we've ever seen. I want to say something about that Rocket Warrior uh, series. Was uh, well, you, you can get rid of that graphic right there. They gone home. Um, what's going to be very interesting about that series, you know, there's nobody from the Warriors who have to play great. Uh, they they can they they got guys like if you look at them throughout the season, some of the guys like a couple games last week they won. Clay went four for twenty. But what's going to be really interesting. Chris Paul and Dre, uh, Chris Paul and James have to play well. They're going to play defense too, because they're going to be playing against Steph and Clay. So, are those two guys going to have enough energy? They probably got to get 30 a night or close to it, and guard those guys. That's going to be the toughest thing for them. And can they get Eric Gordon to maybe help them steal a game? He had 26 in one of their. No, wins. but they, they're no, going to need no, somebody but, else to but, get no, points, but those, right? Those two guys have to play well for the Rockets to win. Uh, you, you, get, you got a reason you got Gordon, but when you watch the Rockets, Chris Paul and James have to play great, but next series, they're going to be playing guards that are better than them, and they got to play defense on those two guys.